Hi, everyone. Welcome back to the True Rock and Roll Podcast. As usual, I'm here with Sue Ann Carwell, three-time Grammy winner, and King Edward Wright, <laughs> rock and roll renaissance man. Woo! <laughs> King, you're looking good, honey. Thank I'm you, loving baby. that outfit. Oh, yeah. And Andrea, King, you just look you remember, vibrant. Um, uh, what'd you say, Sue You're looking vibrant. Oh, thank you, sweetie. <laughs> anyway, King, do you remember the group you told us about that used to, that were Native Americans and they used to perform in their, in their um, Native costume? Yes, years you ago. Yeah, they, they were the first. Right, I found that recording. The group yes, was called Red yes, Bone. Yes. They were on the Midnight Special, so this really is a wonderful performance. Right, right. It started Red Bone. Red Bone. I'm a Red Bone. <laughs> yes, you are. <laughs> were really good weren't they yes yes and i remember that song so well but i don't know why i don't remember them being native americans me oh, either same black. yeah 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 what year did that song come out i think it was 1973 or 74 yes yes wow that was a great song, midnight special wasn't it yes it was yes yes it yes. was I truly remember that song as a little girl. 73? Oh, shoot, I was what? 14, 13? Yes. Probably so. Yeah. Yeah, I was 23. So I, was, I guess I was 15, maybe 14 or 15. So maybe you were a little younger, Suan. Yeah. But it was a great yeah, song. It really but was. We went for the midnight special. I would be like, Mom, please don't make me go to bed. Yeah. I know. Yeah. Or Don Carson. What was that? Don Kirshner, and it was Friday Kirshner. night. Right, right, right. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, whatever happened to that group, though? That, that was the only hit they had at that particular time. But um, but they were fantastic. He had a great singing voice. The band was great. They were just, they had great presentation. They should have really done a lot better, I think. Did you know of any other of their songs, King Edward? No, but see, they couldn't get any gigs, too, as well. You know, they didn't. They didn't tour. Wow, you know, that's right. The, that's the thing about them, they didn't didn't do any tour anything, and so they were just yeah. uh, that that song that came out. It, it got on the chart, but it, it didn't go anywhere. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it made yeah, it that the song chart. It one hit wonder, I guess. Right. Yeah. So yes. Should have yes. done better. Should have done better. Anyway, let's get there, back to it. Okay. Oh, go ahead, too. Go there ahead. are just some groups that when I heard like one of their hit songs and they and I never heard of them again, I just wish they would have kept going. You know, there are some groups right, like right, that. Right. You know. Well but everybody's yeah, not built. It was a lot of discrimination too, a lot of discrimination yeah. too. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. They were probably, yes, you know, discriminated against nobody <laughs> wanted. Right. Well, I want to enjoy the rest. I do too. Let's get back to it.
And you know, it was in rotation on the radio too. Yeah, yeah. You got, got played. Yeah, you got played. Right. That's 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 how they sold. They 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 broke it in. They didn't get a, a million copies or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? Right. But uh. Yeah. But yeah, that guitar, that lead singer sure looked like he wanted to let loose up in there. <laughs> <laughs> he, he looked like he was getting ready to let loose, and then he looked at his partner, and he's like, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah let, me, let me chill. Okay. Yeah. We had a lot of fun with music, more so than I think we do now. <clears throat> I think people take it too seriously instead of just having fun with it. It was a fun song. Same thing with Hugh Master Kayla. I've uh, been around Hugh Master Kayla. You remember Hugh Master Kayla? Mama, 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 that dude? No, yeah. that was Mamu Dibango. Hugh Master yeah. Kayla was from South Africa. He's more of a, a jazz uh, well, artist, I, I guess. I'm talking about Hugh Master Kayla. I'm talking about Hugh Master Kayla. Yes. Was, wasn't he from South Africa? That's what I said. You said he was yes. from Nigeria. I said, no, he was from South yes. Africa. Yes. Yes. The yes. song that Suam was singing was was So Makusa, and that was Manu Dibango, and he was from Oh, Africa. yeah. Right. Ah. Right. 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 You know about that Africa, don't you, baby? <laughs> Andrea, was about, Andrea was about to fight us. She's like, hey. Me, me. Me and her both. Yes, no. <laughs> that one. I know. Yeah. Yeah. I've been in Africa a lot of time. Don't tell yeah. me. Yeah. It's like uh, a John the, Buck, John the Butler. You know, John the Butler is, oh, God, he's unbelievable. Who? John the John. Butler? Yes, guitarist. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Writer, composer, yes, yes, yes. I've been around him. He's unbelievable. It's a lot of, like Andre would tell you, it's a lot of good artists. Oh, right. Out. Right, there really were. He just passed away in 2018, Hugh Masekela. Who did? Hugh Masekela. Hugh oh. Yeah, the, the South African, he played um, trumpet. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yeah. But he came over and did a lot of work with, with lots of, you know, R&B artists and stuff. That's right, that's Back right, that's East. right. That's right. Yeah. Next song. Okay. Everybody, thanks for joining us on the True Rock and Roll Podcast. 
give us a thumbs up hit that yes. subscribe button you know the little white one right down there when it says subscribe yes subscribe and hit that notification yes, bell so you know when we're putting out another video yes all right we'll see you next time bye bye cold-blooded baby cold-blooded <laughs>